Hi, I'm Amy Allen with Siemens PLM Software. In today's NX Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to create a self-guided extraction path in NX 11. We'll start by choosing a three-seat configuration from the arrangement set. Next, let's go into assembly sequencing to adjust the transparency to get a better view of the inside of that fuselage. We see our configuration was reset, so let's go back in assembly arrangement and choose the three seat configuration again. Now we'll create our extraction path. Right off the bat, we see an error due to the assembly constraints. We have to move the seat up so that bottom is no longer touching the floor panel. Next, we want to specify our end position. We can show the goal position by moving that seat outside of the fuselage door. Once that is done, we'll return to the beginning specified orientation and execute the extraction. NX will automatically generate results. Starting in NX11, we can manually initiate the path. Let's turn on clashing bodies in the collision display. Now anytime we move a body that is set to collide with other geometries, that body will highlight. Let's see what we can do to negotiate the extraction path to avoid collisions. Notice that as we rotate this seat, we need to be very careful not to run into other objects. As we start to manually move the seat out, we begin to see a potential result. Once that position is understood by the software, the system is going to solve it automatically and put the seat in the final destination for us. Once the extraction seat has cleared the front two seats, we're going to rotate it so it can come out cleanly. At this point, notice how the system takes over to move the seat into its final destination position. Let's play it back and see how easily we can manipulate that seat back in. We can also play it forward and see how easily that seat can be extracted as well. Starting in NX11, users now have the ability to manually create self-guided extraction paths. That concludes today's NX Quick Tip. Thank you very much.